What did Cola? Hello everyone, Con Cola here. So yes, I am aware that my glass there is a glare in my glasses. You can see the uh, the laptop what's on the laptop screen right now in the reflection. And no, I am not going to do anything about it. So ha <laughs> ha. Um, no, but honestly, I didn't have the chance to memorize the scripts that I wrote for this video. Um, usually when I make a video, I write my thoughts down, then I try to memorize it, then I take my glasses off and then film it, but I didn't have a chance to memorize it because this week has been really busy. And the final episode of the second season uh, premiered last Friday on Amazon.com. And I wanted to do a review of both seasons 1 and 2 of The Grand Tour, the show that is kind of a sequel to Top Gear. And if you don't know what Top Gear is, too bad, I'm not going to bother explaining it. Um, no, I'll explain it real quickly. So basically, Top Gear is this British reality show where these three men, um, Jeremy Clarkson, James May, and Richard Hammond, would, they would sometimes uh, race cars of their own, but a lot, many times they would have celebrity guests come over and these uh, guests would drive a certain type of car and see how fast they would go and they would compare times with like other celebrities and whatnot. So back in 2015, the, th uh, the three uh, British hosts, Hammond, May, and Clarkson were fired from Top Gear for various reasons. And, and Top Gear decreased in popularity significantly after their departure. So Amazon noticed this and they decided to take advantage of this. So they so Amazon approached the, these three and their the producer of the Top Gear, uh, Andy Woolman, who also left after the three left. And Amazon proposed to the four men that they that Amazon helped them make a show about cars, perfect for car enthusiasts, showing off certain types of cars. And Wilman, Clarkson, Hammond, and Mays all said yes. And now we have two seasons already of the show that is kind of a spin-off slash sequel of Top Gear called The Grand Tour. So this show is perfect for car enthusiasts. They show off a lot of cool cars on this show. But the problem is, is that I personally am not a car enthusiast. I don't really care that much about cars or the appearance of them or certain statistics and how fast they are or they can go or whatever. Um, but so, so a show like this isn't, doesn't really write for people like me. But I watched it anyway. One, because I have a friend who's a big uh, car guy. In fact, he actually has a YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the description down below. And also, I, I saw a few episodes of Top Gear, and what kept me intrigued were the celebrities they brought on, and Clarkson, Hammond, and May. Their humor doesn't always work for me. They do say a lot of things that can be considered offensive, but most of the time they are really funny, and their chemistry with each other is really good. So, I to be to be and to be honest, this show isn't exactly the best. But the chemistry and the humor of Clarkson, Hammond, and May is what keeps me uh, interested. Is what keeps me watching. Again, in Grand Tour, they do say some jokes that can be considered offensive. But I, but I, I don't think I don't really think so. I can tell that they're like joking and that they don't really mean it. But some people can can could possibly be offended. So, like I said before, I'm not really interested in that much in cars. But it's these three that kept me interested. So basically, how the format of each episode is is there will be a monologue, then a short clip, a video clip of one of the three or all three showing off this uh, certain type of car or several cars, and then they'll cut to a segment called Conversation Street where the three sit at this table and they just talk about whatever. It doesn't always have to be car related, it's just whatever. And then it'll cut to another video clip, usually that has a story around it. And then there'll be, a, and then halfway through a clip, it'll like stop. It's kind of like a to be continued and the clip will continue at the end of the episode. But then they'll cut to a segment called Celebrity Brain Crash, where 
they have a celebrity come on to the stage with them. Oh, I forgot to mention that this whole episode is takes place on a stage, kind of. Whenever they're not showing a video clip, it takes place on a kind of stage inside this tent with an audience, based on the country in which the three are visiting and that the tent was built in. So they'll have a celebrity on, and the celebrity will die before they can reach a tent. Now, I get why they're doing this, and occasionally this, the deaths are funny, but the reason why I liked Top Gear so much, like I said before, was because of those celebrity guests. So, look, so in the first season, seeing the celebrity and then them just dying, it just... It just, it kind of annoyed me. Like, I, I wanted to see them, you know, talk with Clarkson, and Hamden and May and drive cars. Thankfully, they changed that for the second season. In the second season, they changed the segment to Celebrity Face-Off, where they have two celebrities drive a car at a time, and they compare times to see who is faster. Also, something in the first season that didn't really work, and a lot of people didn't really like, was this character called the American. Who was just who was just a stereotypical, one-dimensional caricature of everything America, and I didn't really find him funny. Luckily, and and luckily they replaced him with a different driver, um, in the second season, and she is a lot better. Um, not really a fleshed out character or caricature, but still better than the American. So so the show is dull for personally for me because. I'm not really interested in cars, but again, but in addition to the chemistry and humor between Clarkson, Hammond, and May, the cinematography and editing, absolutely fantastic. Just absolutely, there are some incredible shots in this show, like shots that I did not think could be possible, like they get practical. It's absolutely amazing. So like I mentioned before, the chemistry and humor is really good, but it does decrease a lot. I mean, it's it does get a lot worse in the second season. It's not unbearable, but it is kind of, it is very awkward at times. They'll say a joke and it's just not really that funny. And the audience will sort of pity laugh. You, you can tell that they're pity laughing. So overall, I would say that I like the first season better than the second. Um, the first season was personally to me a lot more fun. Neither season is really spectacular or is going to be really, or I'm going to remember, but I am still glad that I saw it because I am a big fan of the guests that come on and a big fan of Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond, and James May. I'm going to give The Grand Tour Season 1 a 7 out of 10 and The Grand Tour Season 2 a 6.5 out of 10.